What's up, monstrosities? We are back with another rant, and I just wanted to continue the conversation about the community's uproar and rage towards how SBMM is calculated. So, I tweet a lot nowadays, and I'm just trying to really understand how this community could possibly upset, be upset about SBMM and MMR and how it works. So, it's always been an invisible number that nobody has known how it works exactly. There was a leak, but it turns out to not be as accurate as everyone thought. So there was a leak that says, hey, it's based on time and escapes for survivors and killer. It's if you get a 4K and the length of the match. It turns out to not be true. But everybody doesn't want sweaty matches they're like man mmr is on and it's been making all of my matches sweaty now mind you i don't believe that to be true because it hasn't made all of my matches sweaty but hey who am i so everybody is upset that their matches are getting sweaty because they want an invisible number to go up for more matches of that difficulty but they don't want matches like that right so you want your mmr to go up because of what what are the benefits of your mmr going up survivors would say i get better teammates no you don't no you don't now you all know me as a killer main but let, let me i'll be real with you i've seen bonobos at every situation every situation you can't expect your four stack of randoms to give you a competent teammate hell as a decent killer i have off days even with my best killers i have off days where i'm just like man i played that terribly you can never expect your teammates that if you do get this higher elo all of them to be competent We've seen our favorite streamers go down to some really stupid shit because they're just off that day. So what do you get out of making an invisible number go up? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And you're mad at behavior because it isn't how you thought it worked? And why do they even call it skill-based matchmaking? That's not skill. Sure, alright, fuck it. I'll give it. I'll give in for that. It's just like, okay, that's not skill. You just hit all game and got hatch. Okay, but hatch doesn't make your MMR go up. But why does it make mine go down? I did everything. If you did everything, why didn't you escape? I still stand by that point. But okay, whatever. You're irritated because you're losing, right? So eventually, after enough losses, you'll go to the point where you start winning with how skill-based matchmaking works but frankly if you're the common denominator in every match right if you have lost 20 matches and you've always been the first one to die on hook why do you think that is every killer i run into just knows that it's me are you are you famous like that are you famous like that then sheesh but even then what are the odds I know when I'm playing killer, it's completely random whoever the fuck I find first. If I'm running lethal pursuer and I see that a streamer's in my lobby, sure. Maybe I'll be like, alright, fuck it then. But how many people are running lethal pursuer? Pursuer. For you to get targeted. And this is appealing to the average person. So why is it that you're the one that always dies first on hook? But you're so good, right? It harms you for playing altruistically. What's the harm? What's the harm? Your objective in the game should be to have fun, right? So, did you have fun? It's not rewarding. I don't feel rewarded for everything. Uh, to know that it's a loss now is upsetting. You knew that dying as a survivor was a loss regardless. So now a number that you don't see on top of that makes you feel bad? Or how about this? How about the reward is the blood points you get at the end to level things up? 
This is all a PvP game. With just some cute cosmetics and rank up perks. It's all it's ever been. So you're trying to tell me that because behavior has put in this system that includes an invisible number. Again, you can't see this number. And people have been hardware banned because they've done these extra steps to figure out their MMR rank rating or whatever. Which again, turns out to not be how it works, how they thought it worked this entire time, right? And you're upset because of what? MMR has sucked out all of my, all of my joy in this game. Was it MMR? Or was it the community? The community heard, hey, we're putting in this system. You don't know how it works? We barely know how it works. And that's just me being facetious because that's what everybody likes to say. But we're going to put in a system. You're not going to see any number of values of it. And you're going to get blood points based on how far you go up each month on a thing that isn't reflected by MMR. What, what do you get? This isn't red ranks anymore. Rank one doesn't exist. And again, people like to say, but how do I know I'm getting better? Dude, I reached rank one in less than a hundred hours. Was I good at the game then? No. I do pick up on games pretty fast. But at the end of the day, I still should have been facing people of red rank quality that's been playing the game longer for me then, right? So if I can get the rank one then, what's the difference? People are running sweatier stuff. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Once you hit purple and red ranks, people are running the same thing for both sides. And mind you, I was running those things because that's the only way I knew how to win at that time too. And not even because I was really trying to go out my way to win, I'll be honest with you. It was because I had half a concept or whatever and I just heard people were telling me that Ruin, Pop, and Barbecue and Chili were good. So I'm like, fuck it, alright, I guess that's what you put on. My friend told me about Noah and I was just like, oh, this is cool. It took me like a while to realize that people hate Noah and I was just like, oh. Well, I'll take it off. But why wouldn't you run it? But if we're being honest, as a killer, you want to kill everybody before you get to the point of no it. You don't want to be sitting there with all the gems being done. If you throw a no it, that's your second chance perk, but that's probably you've built around it and you've thrown away the rest of the game for no reason. So who is to blame about SPMM MMR matches being sweaty? They took away a number for you. They took away that. But yet his behavior's fault? No. It is entirely self-inflicted. Entirely. Everybody is upset about an invisible number. I know I've repeated that a lot, but just think about how ridiculous that is. Ever since this system, I've been playing more lax than ever. You know why? Because I don't care. Content creators, how do you, who, for whatever video or thing that happens, who is going to be able to say that's not high MMR? How do you prove it? And then MMR also has an additional factor that we didn't know. It's not like every killer is fresh for us. But if your MMR with one killer is particularly high, it boosts up the other ones to a numerical value. So mind you, I thought that I was being slick trying to learn Ghostface, but apparently my Ghostface starting MMR was higher than what a baby Ghostface was, or would be, right? Like, compared to a brand new killer. So I still had what I thought was challenging. Not just an easy stop, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna take my rank one killer mindset and mix it with my Ghostface skills and then I'll quickly learn and be stopped. No, no, 
it was equally the same situation. Now, who is I mad at? Nobody, because I don't care. Problem is that people are caring too much about they something they can't see. You could call it DVD religion. But frankly, you all, and yes, you all, because I'm removing myself from this situation because I just want to have fun in my matches. I practiced plague all day yesterday. My only goal was to pip up once. Or sorry, get to the next grade the entire day. Just to progress me a little bit more and earn experience so I could buy something out the shrine with the iridescent shards. All I cared about. My brain was off for half of those matches. And I just outright let some people win some of those matches. Not because I want to take my plague MMR. No. It, it, even if I did tank it. You know how long it would take to tank it? The max you lose via what they said on the stream is like 20 MMR, right? And assuming that I'm at that soft cap of 1900, even if I lose five games straight, all four outs, that's 100. Based on what they said, their math works. Now, mind you, that negative 20 MMR, uh, they said you're playing four games at once, so that could be 16 times um, 20. But even then, if I go from 1900 to 1600, how much of a difference are we really dealing with in characters or people that I get matched with, huh? How much of a difference is there? How are you going to be upset that an invisible number doesn't work that you thought doesn't work the way you thought it did? And there is no reward to going up and said invisible number. Completely self-inflicted. DBD community balls in your court. Relax and cut it out. Peace out.